What's up guys, this is Luke from AndroidCrate.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install CyanogenMod 10 on your all-winner A10 device. Thanks to Christian Troy from XDA Developers for porting this over to uh, all-winner A10 devices. He's awesome. Check him out in the thread below. So to see if your device is running the all-winner A10 chipset, check the XDA uh, forum post in the link below. It will provide a full list of uh, devices compatible. So first off, before we start, you'll want to download three files. That will be the compatibility file for your device, it will be the custom ROM and the Google Apps. So after you've put them onto your SD card, boot into recovery mode. So once you've booted into recovery mode, you want to uh, go into backup and restore and back up your ROM in case anything goes wrong. So after you've done that, you want to go to white data factory reset. There it goes. And after you've wiped your data, you want to go down to Wipe Cache Partition. Select Yes. And finally, before we flash our ROM, you want to go down to Advanced. This is a very important step. And wipe the Dalvik Cache. So after you've wiped your Dalvik Cache, we can finally get down to uh, flashing the custom ROM. So you want to go back. Go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and scroll down till you find your ROM. Here it is, uh, CM10. So flash that. Select yes. Sorry if my hands are getting in the way, guys. So after the ROM is finished flashing, it will take a few minutes, guys. Don't be worried if it's taking longer than a few seconds. You want to go to choose zip from SD card again. Scroll down till you find G apps. This will install all of your Google system applications like Gmail and stuff. So select yes. So finally, after that has been flashed, you want to go once again for the last time to choose it from SD card and scroll down to your compatibility file. If you want to know which one you should choose, uh, I highly suggest that you uh, read the full forum post. You'll learn a lot in it. So flash that finally. There we go. So after you've installed those three files, you can finally uh, go on to reboot system now. Now guys, this boot up will take a lot longer than uh, your standard boot up, so be a bit patient with it. So mine is actually just still booting up there. I'm not gonna actually, I'm not gonna show uh, the ROM in this video. I just kind of wanted to keep it short and um, just keep the actual topic of the video. But I will be doing a full video, uh, full overview of this ROM uh, in my next video, hopefully. So uh, uh, look out for that one, guys. If this helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and yeah, uh, go to AndroidCrate.com for the latest Android news and reviews, guys. See ya.